Alrighty, let's take a look at the shot in full. And what's gonna happen if I don't brush? My teeth will fall out. They're gonna fall out anyway. I'm only three. And what? <laughs> That's super cute. All right, in your email, you're saying here there are small things you need to work on, like hand sliding on the table. All right. Tongue and finger animation. All right. Apart from that, let's check out some of the details. There's some things that I notice in terms of speed. And what's going to happen if... And what's going to happen... Even this... And what's going to... And what... That head turn to the left here. It's just... To me, a tad fast. It's probably also because if you track the nose for your <laughs> for your arcs, I was going to say arcs, and then I coughed. Here, see that? You starting an arc like this, and then boop, you go straight up, and it seems like this is on the linear key right there. And it might just be that, how quickly you get into this. But still, check out your arc. It goes kind of straight up and then flattens out fairly fast. That's just, it's a picky one, but and gonna that one just a little bit. What's going to happen if I don't brush? This one for sure. For sure. <laughs> Subjectively, for sure. But it's the same thing again. Track your nose. Beep, right there. You start to go down and then you have a very fast pop to the left here. With a nice arc, but it's just that moment don't of, boop, that just feels slightly fast. It's also because I'm, I'm reacting to this massive head and tiny body and... But. Something so big, it feels like it's going to ease out of that a bit more to get to that speed. Because if I look at the rest of the animation... Anyway! Well, anyway! It's not super snappy. It's not photoreal either. You're kind of in the middle. And that's why... But if I don't brush. That just feels ever so slightly fast. But I don't brush. My Once you get to here, I think what happens here is that... I think because you have your hands on the table... That you probably have IK arms, so watch out for that. You got a very, very straight path up here with no arc. And then you can probably also play with this silhouette a bit more where I see a slight upper arm there for something that is a cleanish silhouette. But once you get to here, you have that bend straight to camera. And that could be, you know, a bit lower with the arm. You can use that negative space here between this and this, so it's not overlapping with the face. I think I would work on that a bit more. My also, my the spacing, my how it goes back, it goes up, stop, and this way. You can maybe pull it back, maybe it kind of slides and pulls it back for an arc like that, my potentially. Teeth will fall out. Teeth will fall out. It's hard to see. I do see a deformation there, but just make sure you really engage the shoulder. It might just be with, with the that Reagan enveloping that I'm not seeing it, but just make sure, just double check on your ends that you have enough of the of the shoulder in there. So I do see a rotation in Y. I also see some scaling. Is that in here? Are you doing breathing? Because it's a fairly big move there, or just a, a geometry change. It doesn't quite. To me, this wouldn't be a moment where you would. Inhale and exhale. I don't know. Maybe it might just be something with deformations again. Just let me know. And then email. Uh, again, track your arcs. Watch out because of an, an IK arm. Oh. Then you get those <clears throat> slight... It's not an overextension, but you have that bends into a straight and then back into a bend. They're gonna just little tiny little things that are a bit IK-ish. Oh. And it's visible because the orientation of the wrist is the same. So you have that change in here while this stays the same. Kind of an IK flag there. Oh, they're gonna follow any and then once you get into this, watch out. There's a slight feeling of too much twinning and symmetrical timing there. It's posing and timing, how it goes up and down. And then it goes back to just your arcs. Like everything feels fairly flat. I would track those arcs and soften these. And, and you can see again how it just kind of stops. And you have lots of one frame direction changes or full on uh, freezes. And you can see that IK arm stuck in frame there. Anyway. I'm only three. <laughs> I do like that, and I like the usage of space. That you go front and back, you have interaction there, and you have the baby go forward. That's all very cool. Again, watch out for IK arm. So it's, to me, it, mostly it's tracking, smoothing things out, just detail work like that, just a little general cleanup. 
And what's going to happen if I don't brush? Now, I don't know if that rig supports it, but everything in your mouth shape seems fairly stuck within that. I would A, look at some more asymmetry in terms of opening one eye more than the other, kind of pushing eyebrows. It's a baby. You can just really push those shapes and really go out in the asymmetry and brush and really push the B. Don't brush. My teeth will fall out. My teeth will, like, teeth could be a bit bigger. I would just kind of push the... The contrast in your in your extremes there. I like to get something like this is cute from here to here, right? That's cute. Just so push that. I'm only three. You know? Three. Three. Three, I will go just push it. You can always dial it down, but push it. I'll expose the upper teeth. Just really go for contrast. And what's going to happen if I don't brush? My teeth will fall out. And then watch out. I'm not sure what's going on through there, but see how much the head turns and the eyes are locked inside that ball there and that, that skull. Might be because your uh, eye control is very close. Try to maybe move it really far away behind the camera. So that sometimes helps, but there's this weird feeling of those eyeballs really locked in there and then just like that skin moving over the eyeballs, if that could be reduced. Teeth will fall out. And then watch out, you got some moments where it's kind of spliny. Kind of splines up, it's very soft. And then are you squishing eyeballs? It feels like I see that pupil, and the iris change. They're gonna follow anyway. I'm only three. And what's gonna happen if I... Yeah, I think that's it for now. Just a lot of cleanup, I know that takes time. It's always kind of a pain to do that. But I would start with that, and especially your arms. Get rid of the twinning, kind of watch out for your posing and your silhouette, especially the IK feel to it. Silhouette as I, as I uh, said that here. Otherwise, you're kind of okay. So you have a lot of arcs, that should be fine. That's nice asymmetry there. I like your change in the legs there. I'm only Speaking of legs, watch out that you don't completely overextend. It feels like there's some moments where you overextend and kind of pop pop into a bend and then I'm not sure again that's enveloping i see a change here but on that weight shift i see nothing in that line i don't know if you can push that so you can see those diapers go up you know up and down different sides for uh, proper weight shifts but again that might be an enveloping issue not sure anyway i'm gonna leave it at that uh email me let me know if you have any questions if this all makes sense all right thank you all right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.